All right, guys, uh, it's Connor Taylor here. I am a draft a quality expert. And today I'm gonna do a little video on cleaning a draft faucet, which is a standard draft faucet. Uh, so the first thing we need to talk about is safety. Okay, you guys know how I get the safety, right? So we're gonna be wearing safety gloves and safety eyewear. So uh, we're gonna be using caustic solution and we don't want this getting on our hands or skin our eyeballs, the money maker here. So safety is of course our number one priority. We need to do this every two weeks, right? And one of the things we can do is while we are cleaning the draft lines, we can give this faucet a good soak um, in a caustic solution. So uh, let's go ahead and take it apart so that we could get it soaking. So let's go ahead and take the collar off here. Unscrew the collar. And what we're gonna do is take a nylon brush, right? And uh, we're gonna make sure we get in and out and around. Uh, we're looking for mold, bacteria. We just really wanna sanitize that uh, as much as possible. Put that aside. Uh, next up, we'll take off the bonnet right here. So unscrew it like so. Once again, checking inside for mold bacteria and really giving it a good scrub down with the nylon brush. Then we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and take the lever out of here. And we're gonna take the friction washer off, okay? It's be a little tricky sometimes, little tricky dicky. Remove this sucker. And um, you wanna check for fraying too. You don't want any fraying. And then of course, give it a little hit with the nylon brush. Uh, put it aside. And then of course we've got our hilariously named ball washer. Um, this is a great spot for mold or bacteria. So you wanna make sure you really get uh, uh, around and inside of it with the brush and then on the ball as well. And then once we've done that and cleaned it, we can actually just put that back on, make sure you're putting the bevel side on the ball and you can actually put the friction wash washer back on. So shimmy that sucker down. All right, put that lever aside for a second. Now let's take the body here and we'll take the uh, the shaft out. So we're really gonna make sure we hit it with the nylon brush and really get in and around everything here, every little element, right? Put that aside. Now when we're looking at the body here, a couple things we need to check. First is the washer right here in the faucet. We make sure we check that washer for fraying could be a reason something is leaky. So we need to check that. Uh, we're gonna take our nylon brush and go through pretty much everywhere, right? Uh, with a little special attention to these vent holes here. There's one here and there's one inside. If you're, sometimes your nylon brush can get in there, just do it, but if it can't, um, you can use a dental tool. You get something like a paper clip, but they recommend a dental tool. So go to your dentist, grab a dental tool and give it a little uh, cleaning there. And the last thing we're gonna do is check for exposed brass. I uh, know this one won't be a problem because it's stainless steel. Might as well spend the extra money for stainless steel. But if it is brass, you wanna make sure there's no exposed brass because that's a problem that needs to be replaced. Okay, so now uh, we've got everything in the caustic. We're you know cleaned everything with a nylon brush. So let's just go ahead and reassemble everything here. You got to make sure, excuse me, Got to make sure that this is facing up here so that we can hold on, make sure it's get that perfectly in so that our lever will fit nicely in there. Okay. And then we'll put our bonnet back on top. Get that nice and tight. And then our collar. And you know what? Let's do it all again in two weeks. What do you think? <laughs>